All right, we are making an optical illusion heart design today. And I am going to use a tracer to draw my heart in the middle of the paper. If you don't have a tracer, you can just draw two nice big curves. Like that. And then connect them at the bottom. with a V shape. And of course I would do pencil first. And we want our name at the bottom. But since I'm doing it on the video, I go right into permanent marker because it shows up better. Okay, then I'm going to draw lines um, going from top to bottom. So these would be vertical. So I'm going right through the center of the heart. And then I'm going to leave a space and draw another line. So I'm trying to draw them as straight as I can. Nobody's perfect. If you wanted them to be straighter, you could always use a ruler. You can even measure out the spaces in between if you wanted to. But I'm not that worried about it. Okay, so I've got my vertical lines done. Now I'm going to do horizontal lines. So I'm going to go right through. Now we have an artist who made lots of optical illusions or tricks on your eye with his art. And his name was M.C. Escher. He was born in 1898 and he died in 1972. And one of his famous artworks was called Relativity, done in 1953. Okay, so now I have some nice squares. And an optical illusion is a trick on your eye. So the trick I think in this one is if you think it's just a checkerboard, but then you see a heart and also it sort of looks like the colors are weaving in and out. So I think the easiest way to start out is to pick one square right in the middle of the design and then color that in. So I want to make my pattern every other. Okay, so if I color this one, then I don't color this one, but I do color this one. Now this one happens to be not a full square because of the heart. So I'm just going to color up to that curve by the side of the heart. This one will be a full square. And you'll notice I like to sort of do an inside line of the square before I color it in. Helps me stay inside the lines. Okay, now underneath here, on this next row, I am going to color in this one. Because I don't want to color right underneath my purple squares. I want to leave those ones underneath as white. So it is easy to make a mistake on this and color in a square wrong. If you do, I would say ignore it and move on and continue because most people won't even notice one or two little mistakes. If it's really bothering you a lot, you can always um, cut out a piece and then glue like a white piece on top. Or tape a, another white piece through the back. Okay, so you can see how this one was also 
the edge of the heart. So that's where I want to stop. I don't want to continue with my purple outside the heart because I want to be able to see my heart shape. And if I color in the whole square with the purple here, then you're not going to be able to see my heart shape as much. Okay, so I try to work slowly and carefully, and that helps me to keep track of my design. And it also helps me to stay inside of my lines as best I can. This is my last one here for inside my heart. So then outside of my heart, I used a dark red. Oop. Yeah. So this is getting a little tricky here. I want to do this spot, the red, because that's outside the heart. And this one also outside the heart. Okay, I would skip this one, then color this one. Okay, skip this one, color this one. Um, color this one here. Um, skip that one, color this one. This one, color this one. Color this one. Oh, a fun book to read with um, optical illusions is Walter Wick's Optical Tricks. It has lots of cool illusions made with. different kinds of materials. So I'm not completely coloring in all my squares right now because I just want you to get the idea. And I can always go back and color these in more completely, which I will do for my final photo for this project. Oops, I found a little spot where I missed a purple. This one, this one, and then my little purple space over here. All right, and good luck finishing yours out.